Mishrauer was a Russian-born American actor who moved to Hollywood in the late 1920s. He first appeared in film in 1928. Auer had a long career playing in many of the era's best-known films, and he received an Academy Award nomination in 1936. He later moved into television and acted in films again in France and Italy well into the 1960s. Early life Auer was born Mikhail Semenovich Unskovsky in St. Petersburg, Russia. His name is usually seen as Misha Aunskovsky, Misha being the German transliteration of Misha, and Aunskovsky being the French transliteration of his surname. Auer's maternal grandparents were Hungarian-born Jewish violinist Leopold Auer and his wife, Nadine Pelican. Misha renamed himself after his grandfather. Career. He began stage work in the 1920s in Bertha Kalik's Yiddish Theatre, then moved to Hollywood, where he first appeared in 1928 in Something Always Happens. He appeared in several small and mostly uncredited roles into the 1930s, appearing in such films as Rasputin and the Empress, Viva Villa, The Yellow Ticket, The George Gershwin Musical Delicious, The Paramount Pictures All-Star Review Paramount on Parade and The Lives of a Bengal Lancer. In 1936, Auer was cast as Alice Brady's protege in the comedy My Man Godfrey for which he was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. From then on, he was regularly cast in zany comedy roles. Auer is at his zenith in such roles as the ballet instructor, Kalenkiv, in the Best Picture winning You Can't Take It With You and the Prince Turned Fashion Designer in Walter Wanger's Vogues of 1938. Auer can also be seen cavorting in such films as Arsene Lupin, 100 Men and a Girl, Hold That Ghost, This Tree Rides Again, Spring Parade, Hell's a Poppin', Cracked Nuts, Lady in the Dark, and Up in Mabel's Room. He was also one of the large cast of And Then There Were None, as well as the vehicles for Lily Ponds. In the 1950s, Auer appeared on several episodic television series, like Westinghouse, DeSillu Playhouse, Studio One. Broadway Television Theatre and the Chevrolet Tele Theatre as well as in Orson Welles' Mr. Arcadine. In the 1960s, he made several films in France and Italy, including The Christmas That Almost Wasn't. Personal Life Our married four times and had three children. Miss Char's first wife was Norma Tillman, whom he married in 1931. They had a son Anthony and a daughter Zoya. They divorced in 1941. In 1941 he got married the second time to Joyce Hunter and lived with her for nine years. His third wife was Suzanne Kalish, and they had one daughter. His fourth wife was Elise Souls Lee. Philanthropy Our donated some of his earnings to build a Russian Orthodox church in Hollywood, California. Death he died of cardiovascular disease in Rome in 1967 and was interred at Prospect Hill Cemetery in Gloversville, New York. Filmography Marquis Preferred Just Imagine No Limit Command Performance The Monster Walks The Western Code Tarzan the Fearless Beyond the Law The Adventures of Rex and Rinty I Dream Too Much That Girl from Paris My Man Godfrey Three Smart Girls, Pick a Star, Marry the Girl, 100 Men and a Girl, Sweethearts, Top of the Town, We Have Our Moments, Service Deluxe, The Rage of Paris, You Can't Take It With You, Distri Rides Again, East Side of Heaven, Public Debno, 1, Spring Parade, Hell's a Poppin', Hold That Ghost, The Flame of New Orleans, Around the World, Lady in the Dark, and then there were none. Brewster's Millions. She wrote the book, Sentimental Journey, Sophia, Snow White and the Seven Thieves, A Night of Fame, Song of Paris, Broadway Television Theatre, School for Love, Thirteen at the Table, Fro Fro, L'Impossible Monsieur Piplet, Mr. Arcadine, Naughty Girl, The Monte Carlo Story, Tabarin, I Do Mafiosi, Whatever Happened to Baby Toto, Per Amor, Per Magia, 